Hey, what's up, Miku fans? This is Miku fan 3000 here. Welcome to Q&A with Miku fan. That's right. Like yesterday or two days ago, I posted that I would do another Q&A for you guys. And amazingly, I already got enough questions. It happened pretty fast, so thank you for that. So without further ado, let's get to those questions and let me answer them as good as I can. All right, as usual, I have your questions on my phone, so let's get to the first one. And that is once again you, Princess Lily, the top fan of mine. I mean, you're like the first one to give me a question, so thanks for that. And you asked me, what was the funniest moments of SMG4? Like, the funniest moment I ever saw? Well, I can tell you that they have made a lot of funny moments, but if I have to say the funniest moment I've ever seen of them so far, that has to be a Halloween special when there was fighting Pennywise, you know, the clown from IT, Stephen King's IT. When Toad was revived and he was saying, you'll never see it coming! My God, that moment that got me laughing so hard. So I would say that moment, that was a funny moment. And yeah, there are also a lot of other funny moments I can tell you about. But the most funny one I ever saw, that was that, was that one from the Halloween special with Pennywise. So yeah, I would say that's a good one. I hope that's good enough. Next one. All right, the next question is this one here. Hello, Miku fan. What is your favorite game on the PS4? That is a tough one because I love a lot of the games for PS4. But uh, this one here, Marvel Spider-Man, my God, that is a great game. I mean, this one here, it's amazing. And the storyline and all the missions you can do, it's very great. But my favorite one is this one right here, Project Diva X. I mean, why not? Miku fan, Miku Atsune, you know. So I would say this one here, it tops everything. I mean, all the songs in this one here, almost all the songs, they're very great. And uh, my favorite song in this game here called Satisfaction tops everything. So I would say, these two here, these two amazing games, they top everything. But this one here is slightly under this one here because Miku Hatsune, I love her a lot. But Spider-Man is also very great. So these two games, they're my favorite. I hope that answer is good enough for you. But thank you for your question. Let's go to the next one. All right, the next one is this here. What is the most games you hate and why? Yeah, there are a few games I don't like, but I have to say there are a few games I don't like for the PS4. I don't play FIFA. That is a football game and I'm not interested in that, so no thanks. And Halo, Halo Reach, nah. Don't like that either. And then there's Fortnite. I don't like that either. I mean, when I saw the gameplay and how it was working, it didn't get me really hooked. So I would say Fortnite, it's not like my type. I'm not saying it to be hard on you guys who play Fortnite out there, but I'm one of those people that don't play that game. So no thanks. But then there's also, yeah, the Nintendo game Animal Crossing. Fuck no. <laughs> I mean, don't get me started on that because I even mentioned it on my second Q&A for you guys. When I got asked why I don't like Animal Crossing, when I tried it, I was so bored. I mean, there was nothing to do. This game 
was on the bottom of my list. So yeah, don't like that. I mean, the first two minutes, kind of okay, but in the 30 minutes, my mood went downhill. <laughs> All you do is just earning money and making sure your place was great. And you had a lot of bills to pay. Who want to play a game like that? Not me. So, no. I was saying Animal Crossing, FIFA, Halo Reach, and yeah, Fortnite. No. They're not liking my style. So, yeah. That's all I can say. Go next one. All right, this here is from Sirupoy Silly. Shout out to you, dear bro. And you gave me two questions. So, what were your thoughts on the upcoming, sorry, on the upcoming titles from the Nintendo Direct? I would say that I didn't see all the trailers to be correct, but I saw the the Splatoon DLC and I saw the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and also a few more like Paper Mario and Donkey Kong I mean those were very great so my thoughts would be I'm a little bit excited to try them but when spring comes and we get a release date for the DLC for Splatoon 3 I would say that is the one I'm most hyped for because when I saw this trailer a few days ago, wow, those new enemies, it's going to be a blast. So how will this turn out? I don't know, but um, one day we'll find out. And your second question, let me find it here. What games are you looking forward to getting upon release? And you also say much love, bro. Thank you. Well, the upcoming release, I will have to say, to be honest, Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation 5. I mean, those trailers and those gameplays we saw and that symbiote suit, my god, I'm so hyped for it already. But it's going to be released for October the 20th. And when that day comes, don't try to stop me. I'm going to play that. <laughs> My god. I mean, I saw the trailer last year and it was just a small mini clip and when we saw Venom, holy fuck. <laughs> and we still had a whole year and a few months more to wait. But now we're getting closer. We're getting closer. There's only like 33 days left before the game is released. So, when it comes out, don't try to stop me. So that is the game I'm looking forward the most. But I also saw the small trailer for Little Nightmares 3. And I'm a fan of Little Nightmares. So I was saying this one here, Little Nightmares 3, would this be a good game? We'll find out when it comes out. Because I'll definitely try it when it when it gets released. So I have two games, I'm looking, uh, sorry, two, not three, <laughs> man. I have two games I'm looking forward to, dear bro. So that's all I can say. Thank you for your questions. Next one. Okay, this here is the final question. Yeah, I know it's a short Q&A, but uh, there's only this one here left. So let me see here. What is your favorite moment of Little Nightmares? Hmm. Yeah, I have a lot of favorites and also a lot of parts I don't like. But uh, I would say the part I like the most is when Six and Mono got together and started this little small friendship. But it broke very desperately when yeah, you know, when Six let Mono go and it all turned downhill after that. But I would say that's my favorite moment when 
Mono and Sink started a small friendship and they escaped the hunter and they were working together so I would say that that part that's very great but anyway Miku fans that's this q and A. I I want to say thank you all for those questions and uh, in the future there will definitely be more Q&A's so uh, please get your questions ready and I'll answer them as good as I can for you next time. That's a big promise from me, MikuFan3000, to you MikuFans out there. But thank you once again, and thank you for watching this Q&A. I hope these answers will be good enough for you. And if you want to see more, of course, please subscribe today to become a MikuFan. And I'll see you next time in my next video. So, bye bye MikuFans, stay tuned for more. And as always, believe in Miku Hatsune, and have a good night.